Hey guys, how's it going? Thought I'd do a little midweek variety show. I got a few things I wanted to show you. So uh, yeah, I went up, went up north towards the uh, Canadian border today and did some work up in OMAC and so uh, that was fun. Got to drive up there. I always like driving out of town to work because um, you know, you spend half your day driving and you get paid. So that's always a plus. But yeah, I got a little video of a car that um, I saw on the way up there. It was sort of interesting. I'll show you guys. Wow, look at this old Plymouth, guys. Wonder what the deal is with that. Looks like she'd be a good project. And then, uh, what else do we got? Oh, I got shirts. We got, we finally got some shirts made on the Teespring site. Look at that. There's the front. And then look at the back of that bad boy. Me and Christina designed that ourselves. We got a lot more ideas, so. And then here's, here's the other design that we have. A little bit more traditional, contemporary. I always liked the curved lettering like that. Yeah, and then the front just has a KKG on the front. So yeah, if you guys want one of those, I got them on the uh, Teespring site right down below. Right down below, you'll see them on there. And uh, to be honest, this one, this is a large, and these are like 100% cotton, so I, I should have gotten like an extra large because I know it's going to shrink and then it's probably going to be too small. But uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, so they so they run a little. So this is a large and it'll probably shrink. So I probably should have got an extra large. So keep that in mind. But yeah, these are our designs. They're cool. And we got I got a lot more crazy ideas I want to do. So And there's stickers and coffee cups and... So yeah, that'll, that'll help us out. That's cool. And then uh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, a gas can. Look at this cool gas can that uh, my buddy Visser, he picked it up at a yard sale for free. Look at that old thing. That's cool. I love old cans. Who keeps, who keeps messaging me? Come on, man. I'm trying to make a video here. And then, uh, what else do I got? Oh, I got an unboxing. Got an unboxing. One of our, uh, one of our subscribers, Neil, he messaged me and um, he said he had a Super 2 chainsaw that he'd done some work to, but it needed some um, starter pawls and he hadn't got around to doing it or he didn't have the right tool to change the starter pawls. And so he asked me if, um, if I if I wanted the saw and I was like and I was like well I mean if you want to ship it to me I can get it running and then send it back and he's like no I want to donate it to the channel and I was like oh that's cool so here it is the super two and that worked out cool because I've actually got I don't know how I ended up with a crap load of these things so that's cool I can make a nice one out of this maybe we'll maybe we'll get it going and uh, raffle it off or give it away or something but this is the this is the cool one, the dual trigger one, dual um, throttle trigger. So like if you want to hold it back here, you can do that. Or if you want to hold it up here, like when you're up in the tree. But yeah, these dual trigger ones are sort of the sort of the sought after ones. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, he did a lot of work to it. What did he do? Let's put that up here. He put a little note in the box. What do we got here, Neil? He says, I thought I should give you a list of everything I've done to it so far just to catch you up on its current state. So he did a carb rebuild, air filter, spark plug, fuel line and filter, fuel tank vent, oil lines, filter and check valve. Wow. Chain tensioner, housing mounting screws. Wow. Judging by the sprocket wear, I figured it hasn't had too much use. Taking the muffler off to look at the piston and cylinder further proved that. Biggest thing being it needs a new starter pawl on the flywheel in which I do not have the tools for, but I did find an original home light kit for it with instructions in the box. 
If anything, the box alone is a cool man cave piece. Hope to see it on a video on the channel. Your friend, Neil. Wow, that's cool. Thanks, Neil. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll get this thing going and then we'll do like a giveaway thing with it. That'll be awesome. But, uh, humana, humana, humana. Oh, that box. I wanted to show you that box. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll change this. I'll, I'll put on the different shirt too. Here it is, guys. Design number two. And you can get this in a multitude. Is the tag sticking up? Oops. Look at that. Look at that. And you can get these. There's all different colors and and uh, sizes. So check it out. Check it out. So yeah, those are the, those are the two designs we have so far. Ah, oh, what? It's inside out. Come on, Dan. Look at that. Custom. I'll have to make a shirt that says custom on it. But yeah, here's that box. That is a cool box, Neil. An original old home light box. So yeah, see it has the, whoops. It has the, uh, he found some OEM starter Pauls NOS. Ooh. So that is super cool. A dual trigger Super 2. Nice. So yeah, that's another, yet another project for the project shelf. And so, and then yeah, I got that 031 over there. I'm gonna get that finished up this weekend. We just gotta pop the carb on it and then uh, we'll fire it up, see how she cuts. So we did that. And then I was making a, <laughs> I got a wild hair idea to do another. Um, I drug out the old Ferrari saw again and did a little short. I like to do I like to do an Instagram reel, and then I use the same video to do a YouTube short. And it's weird because Instagram and YouTube um, they have different music. So like Instagram pretty much has like any song you could find, and you can use them in the shorts because it's a small clip, and so they don't copyright strike you. And then the same thing on the on the YouTube shorts. If it's a 15 second clip, you can use their music, but they don't have as much selection. So sometimes I'll have different music on the YouTube short than I do on the Instagram one. But anyways, it's fun. I like making those little videos. I made a little, I made a little video of me making a video. So you could check that out for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah what else do I got what else do I got gas can I went up north for work shirts I did the shirts and then I still got this package for uh, Winston at uh, Casterman Casterman I got this care package for you I gotta send it out I gotta do this this week because he made me that awesome axe and so I got a care package for him Look at that bad boy. Man, I can't get enough of that thing. That's so cool. Right by the Ferrari saw. <laughs> so, oh yeah, what else did I, oh, I fired up, I, and I did it. I took the, I took the uh, exhaust off the Roadster. Oh, 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 there it is laying there. So I thought I'd end the video with me firing it up again. We'll fire it up again. I can't get enough of it. Now keep in mind, she's she's cold-blooded, so it doesn't want to idle at first. So I gotta nurse it until it warms up, but we'll see what it does. Okay, you guys ready? Give her a little fuel. Here she goes.
blooded. But she gets a nice little tune going once she's warmed up. Ah, smell that gas and that raw exhaust. Mmm. And it sticks to you too, so when you go in the house, you smell like exhaust. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the video for the week. Bye bye.